Hello there everyone, it is TIJ and welcome to a brand new video and a brand new series. Today it's time for the first episode of our career mode on Rory McIlroy PGA Tour made by EA Sports and released back in 2015. So this is going to be a new series on the channel and something that really I've wanted to do for a long while. I've been playing this game for quite a bit. It came in the sale for about two or three months ago for about £4. I bought it. I've always loved the golf games, aging back to the older Tiger Woods games, going back to 07, 06, those sort of times. But this is definitely a massive development on the games before that. But today we're going to be starting our career mode. I've actually done a career mode um, before, if we just lose all of our changes. Um, here is my golf at the moment. But we're not going to be playing as that golf because basically we've completely maxed out everything. But I would like to create a new golfer, uh, make all of the difficulty a little bit harder and really start our journey from the bottom again. So my name is Toby Jones if you're new around here. This is going very bizarre today. I don't quite know what's going on. I've just put Toby in but for some reason it's just... just Auto credits to Jones. I don't quite know what's going on, but if you are new to the channel, uh, hello, I do football manager. I can't believe I just said that. Um, I do football manager content on a daily basis. That's that's a loose term. Oh, I don't know what to do in here. Um, and also, obviously, this will be a series coming out on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 6 p.m. So if you're happy about that, make sure to leave a like. And uh, that will be brilliant. Um, now, in terms of handedness, I am actually left-handed, so we'll go with that. Um, I'm English, not from the United States. Um, choose a bio. Introduced from the age of two. No, not really. Graduated college. Uh, dedicated to life. No. Um, probably. Hmm. Probably introduced at the age of two. I think that's probably fair enough. Um, I haven't played much golf recently, but I have... Um, played golf in the past, not professionally or anything obviously, but um, I have got golf experience if you like. Um, I played, I'm trying to think now, I think it's about 8 or 9 I used to go with my granddad down the driving range, because that's really how you how you start I would say, um, to get better. But since then I haven't really played, but it'd be quite nice to go and play now I feel, because obviously you know at the age of 8 or 9 you haven't really got the strength to be whacking the ball over 100 yards, but I did you know used to hit it 70 or 80, which at pitch and puts were fine. Um, but obviously any longer than that was a bit of a struggle. Now let's ha try and get um, our hair cut similar to what it is in real life. Obviously there's no webcam so that ha doesn't help. Um, but hair colour, we'll go with a nice blonde. Oh that's too blonde, that's the problem. That just looks stupid. Um, that one's better. Uh, body. Body type. I guess a bit heavy. Uh, and then height, quite short. Um, and I think that pretty much... Is it? So we've got a tr some attribute bonuses first off. Uh, we can either go for balanced, power, finesse, or precision. Um, I will just, I think, keep it on balance for the moment. Keep everything balanced um, and absolutely fair. So here we go at the start of our uh, career mode. The first thing we have to do is do the web.com tour championship. Um, but let's have a look what that entails. I haven't played the start of this game for a long while, so I'll have to remind myself what goes on at the start. Um, but I haven't played any golf games on the channel before, apart from a Retro Sunday episode. Which, by the way, uh, if you are new to the channel, I completely go and recommend because I do retro games every Sunday. Um, and they are a real blast. Now, how this series is going to work, we're going to be doing, um, obviously, four-round tournaments, if we make the cut, obviously. Um, we'll do the first three rounds as four holes, so the most important holes, or how many holes it is. Um, and then the last round will be full uh, a full round of golf. So that will be, so say if this comes out on Tuesday, the first three rounds will come out today. Uh, and then the final round will come out on Thursday. But I think for this one, we'll just go with the um, four holes, just uh, the four holes for this full tournament. But let's um, listen to the introduction and see what's going on with this course. I don't quite know, quite, quite know what's going on. It's TPC Sawgrass in Boston. I'm trying to think actually how we start this stuff. I think we, do we have to win to get onto the professionals? I don't recognise this, but it might be a case of it's just the start. Um, I, this game's got criticised a little bit for not really having any sort of immersion because of the fact that, um, you know, there, there, there isn't really any, I guess, pre, not pre-season, but, oh, I'll shut up. the world of professional golf, there exists an elite club. A club filled with legends, household names, rising stars a club where membership is earned yearly with time sweat and dedication this week 50 players will gain entry into this exclusive fellowship the top 25 from the regular season have already secured their spots and another 25 spots are up for grabs here this week some dreams will be realized others will have to wait another day who will be next to join the likes of jason duffner Grant Snedeker, 
and Keegan Bradley as the next great Web.com Tour graduate. There we go then. So what we've got to do, we've got to finish in the top 25 of this tournament and then we get a PGA Tour place for the next season. So here we go. We've got a black screen at the moment. I don't quite know what's going on. Um, here we go. Here is the start of the Web.com Tour Championship. It's the first round at TPC Sawgrass in Boston, I believe. Here we go then. After 15 holes or 14 holes even, we are one under for the day. Um, so we get to play off at the last four holes. Here we go. We're at the 15th. And here we go. Now let's just have a quick look at the difficulty um, and what I've put it on. It's not on the hardest difficulty, but at the same time, it's not on the easiest difficulty, if that makes sense. Um, the easiest difficulty, if we have a look at Dockle gameplay and throw, um, power boost and all that's on arcade. But the one I use, um, pardon me, the swing difficulty is hard. Um, power boost is off. We'll actually just go into this just to show you. Go. Oh, never mind. Um, if we go into this edit custom... Um, there you go. The swing difficulty is hard. Lie effect is advanced, so really, um, it's more of a realistic view. Wind gusts are enabled randomly. Power boost is off, so we can't just completely blast, blast it up the uh, above the fairway. Um, spin control is on, um, as well as zoom, aiming arc, and the green grid, as well as the put line. But to be fair, I have made this game a little bit harder than it can be. Um, but admittedly, I'm comfortable at this level. I wouldn't really want to go um, and turn the put line off. But at the end of the day. Um, as long as you guys enjoy, and the fact I think, oh, that I enjoy as well, I think it's a brilliant thing. So there we go, here's our first shot. Seems a bit sluggish this game just today, I don't quite know what's going on, whether it's just been recorded, but I very much doubt that because I'm on the Xbox One. But that is a good shot down the fairway, a good 270 yards, and that is a good start to the 15th hole. Here we go then for the second shot, 190 yards to the hole, but the wind is coming backwards a little bit, so I'll probably hit it a little bit too, um, a little bit towards the hole. Let's have a look. Five hybrid we're going to go with. Um, just got to be careful it doesn't bounce too much and go past the hole. I think that's exactly what it's going to do, actually. Let's try and bring it back. That's lovely. That is beautiful. Right next to the hole. And that should be quite an easy birdie. Four foot put. Nothing really to this. And there we go. First hole. And that is a birdie. So now on to the 16th. Here we are then, a 520 yard par 5, quite tricky over the trees on the left, but if you can get onto the right of the fairway, I think this one should be quite easy. Um, potentially reachable in two, but I think at the moment, at our stage of the career, uh, we've also only seen to really be hitting maybe 290 yards um, tee shots with the wind in our favour. Uh, that's about 285 that's going to get to. That's pretty decent actually, 287. Can we make the green in two here? It's going to be quite a risk. Hmm. I'm just worried because if we don't go full swing, we're straight in that water. We're going to go for it, though. We're going to try. Um, oh, actually, what we can... Mm, I'm going to try and get it to bounce. Mm, I don't know. Let's just go for it, shall we? What can go wrong? I think we're going to hit the bunker. But as long as we stay on ground, I think we should be okay. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Over the bunker. Oh, oh that's brilliant. That wasn't... Oh, come on. That's gone too much now. But that didn't work out too badly, actually. We have got to the green in two, which is what we wanted to do. Um, but I don't think we'll be able to get it in from there. But this might surprise us. Here we go. There we go. Green and reg regulation. Gives us 10 XP. 33 um, foot put. Let's have a look. We're going to have to bring it back a little bit. Um, around there, let's say. I don't think this is going to go anywhere near in. But we can always try. There we go. Then a bit of a short swing. It's towards the hole. Is it going to go in? I think it is. It's in the hole. It's an eagle. What a start this is. Two R career mode. Four under. Three under just off those two holes. And this is a brilliant first round display from us. A nice par three as well for the penultimate hole today. 133 yards um, par three. Then obviously it's a bit dangerous because if you hit it too less, then it's going straight in that water. But the only place you can really get it here is on the green. Lovely swing though. That should just go nicely just beside um, the hole. <laughs> what a shot right by the hole. And uh, there we go. That's a free foot, free foot put, nice and easy. And that is a birdie. We're five under par now. Here we go. And here's the last shot of the day and the last hole of the day. We're two shots above Aldridge. Um, can we get any further above? This is quite a nasty hole, actually. We're going to have to settle just to go there, I think, for the now. Let's try and get it forward. I might actually turn the spin control off. Um, as we get more into this career mode. If we're, basically, what I'm saying is if we're going to whoop everyone, um, then there's no point we having um, the easier controls, let's just say. 
Right, we'll use the free hybrid here because, again, the wind is coming back towards us, so that would suggest that it's not going to run too much on the green. But we'll try and not put spin control on this one, just see how it goes. And, ooh, see, if we'd have been able to bring it back, it would have been close to the hole. Um, but what we will do, um, we will... Um, where is it? Settings, gameplay style, um, custom gameplay style, um, and we'll turn spin control off. I think that's fair enough. Let's resume the round. Right, 17 foot put. I have to bring it back a little bit though. This might be our first par of the day, but actually, what a shot and what a put that's in the hole. That is beautiful and that is a fantastic first round to start us off here at TPC Sawgrass. So we've got the second, third and fourth rounds of course to come today. I don't know if it'll just strike straight forward to the... Um, of a round, but actually Patrick Rogers is going to be quite decent, so there we go. We've leveled up already to level 2, to level 3 in fact, blimey. Um, but let's simulate looking at attributes and see how everyone else gets on today. Let's have a look. Okay, then 6 under with 3 shots above after that first round. It's nice and comfortable actually. Right, there we go then. So let's go on um, to the second round. Let's see if we can extend our lead any more. But really I'd say for this round, just to consolidate, there's plenty of time to make sure we don't lose any shots. Well, one over par for the round today, folks. We're on the 13th hole, which is where we come in. Can we eradicate that one over par? Because we're only two shots clear at the moment, and our lead could come under a bit of jeopardy. So here's hole 13. We're going to play six holes today, so we're going to play the four we played yesterday as well as these two. So I've got to put into account now that, of course, we haven't got the spin control, so we'll bring it a little bit short of the hole. It's going left. Um, which, uh, I don't know actually, we've hit it a bit too far to the right, but hopefully it should curve back in. Oh, that's not very nice at all, it's gone on the rough. And I don't think we're going to get anything out of this. Right, I do quite like chipping it out of here, admittedly. Uh, we'll go for a nice 10 yards, and we'll just go there, let's see how that works. Oh, it is tricky, it's a lot tricky without the spin control, because you're just relying purely um, on your instinct. But I feel like this is a good challenge. And this is going to be the first hole where I believe that we might actually lose a shot here because this doesn't look like the best of puts, actually, the best of lines. And it is, it's way off. I don't know how we misjudged that. Maybe um, bring it to less, but then it was going upwards, so I thought it would suggest that um, you might have to extend it a few yards higher of the hole. But we have lost a shot there. We've lost two shots all day, and our six under from yesterday has been completely undermined now by two over for today. Par 4, 460 yard, uh, 467 yarder then for this hole. 500 yards it comes down to in the end. That's quite a nice one actually with bunkers going across the left, but it won't really um, matter to us too much. It's curving backwards though, so if it's, it's about the right of the fairway, I feel like it, we could have done with hitting it a little bit um, to the left, but I feel like we can avoid the trees, so that's all good. Okay, then, so we definitely don't want to be in um, the bunker, but we'll get it on the green from here. Let's give it a good whack. Let's see how that gets us. It's definitely going to land on the green, but hopefully it doesn't bounce too much. That's nice. I like that. That's nice. That's an achievable birdie, I would say. I can't quite see whether the green slopes down or not. Actually, it's quite straight. Um, is it just going to be a straight put? That would be nice. It's reading the put for us now. Here we go. It's quite a straight one. We're going to have to put a bit, bit of whack into it, though. Let's see. Here we go, then. Here we go. That's surely going to be in the hole, and it is. What a shot for a birdie. We have regained that shot, and we are now 5 under. So, we've eradicated all the problem from that previous hole of getting a bogey. But today, we have got a birdie at that 14th. So, here we are then back at the 15th hole. Let's see how we do. 253 yards, we can hit it then, we reckon. Let's go a little bit uh, left on the fairway, just to make sure we miss the trees. Let's have a look how much effect spin control does have. Obviously, the wind's coming back today, but I think it was 280 yards we hit it last time. 264 in the end, interesting. Here we are then. It's coming back again, so let's just got to put that in mind. Let's um, bring it back a few few yards to um, replicate what we do. It's got a little bit to the right, actually. I don't really like that. But again, it's bounced on the green, and that's quite nice. Quite nice, quite near to the hole. Hopefully we can go even for the day here. We can get this one in. Oh, it's going to be quite tricky. Let's bring it back a little bit, shall we? Let's see how we do. I don't think this one's going to go in, but it might do it. My surprise is it. Oh, it's in the hole. So close. Hits the side of the hole. And uh, we have completely ignored the fact 
that we dropped two shots early on in the day. And we've regained those in two holes. Now can we build more of a lead? Here we are then at the 16th. Ooh, that's gone a little bit, to, little bit to the left, but I don't mind that actually. Um, it's quite a big fairway. Not really much of a risk unless you hit it way far too far to the left. Par 5 though today. I feel like today we might be better going a little bit more cautious, but the, the flag is here today. So we'll go with that actually. We'll, we'll go with the free wood and just see if it bounces on the green from there. Here we go. That could be too much, but actually it's not looking too bad. Here we go. Is that going to be a nice... It's going to be a nice chip onto the green actually. Oh, I quite like that. It's going forward, so let's just bear in mind that. 15 yards, let's go with. Let's see how we get on. Go on, go on, go on, stay, stay. Good stuff. Good stuff onto the green. I'd say we can get a birdie from that quite easily. Green in regulation there, brilliant. Right, it's quite a straight put now, just a little bit to the left, just to make sure we do cover all our grounds. And there we go, that's in the hole. And uh, as the commentators say many times on this game, you can't hide the flag stick from that man. Seven under then at 16 holes. Here we go then for the 17th of the day. Can we get anything out of this? Frank, you know what's great about 17? Bear in mind though, the ones that are on free under haven't actually started their rounds yet. So, just got to put that into consideration. Bring it back a few foot. Did you hit the green? What you make at 17? What you do there? Yeah, but you know what the free free make a yard, don't they? So, yeah, that makes sense. That's lovely again. Um... I feel like the spin control is of less use when the wind's coming back because it does control your shots anyway. And that's another birdie. Eight under. And really, I think the 18th should just be where now. We should consolidate this brilliant round. It has really been about consolidating today. We've only gained two shots. Can we gain three in this round? Because I feel like if we can gain three, then we should be on the road to winning this web.com tour championship, which means we definitely get a spot on the PGA Tour for next season. Very exciting. Here we go then. On the fairway. Good stuff. Right, the wind's coming back for us, but I feel... Uh, let's just put it back a few yards just to make sure. And we'll hit that at full swing. Nice stuff. Right, stay, 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 stay. Drop, 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 drop. Ah, that's too much. Don't go into the heavy rough, though. That's just on the fairway. That's quite nice. We can chip that one back onto the, uh, onto the green. Seven yards. Got to be careful with this. Go on, go on, in the hole. Oh, that was so close. A little bit further to the right and it would have been in the hole. This should be a nice pile to end off the round. Hopefully. And it certainly is. No drop shot there. And out of one over par, we've converted that one into a two under par, I think, at the end of the day. We were six under at the start of the round. We're going to have to make sure... Uh, well, we're going to have to look at what everyone else has done. Of course, the ones, as I said before, the ones on three under uh, Spears and Coles. I hadn't started their round when we'd finished, so just got to bear that one in mind. Patrick Rogers, though, seems to be uh, not a threat anymore, though, because it seems that he has uh, gained, well, lost a shot even on this round today. Five under, though, is Ryan Spears. So it's not all over yet. Definitely not all over. Um, and now we'll go to the third round. I'll, actually, I'll probably cut out a few holes out of this one, because I can imagine it's a bit boring uh, in this tour championship, because, you know, it's quite samey-samey, um, but we will get on to the third round now. Here we are then, bit of a different hole, bit of a different attire it seems today, we're in black and our trousers are grey. Right, 460 yard uh, seventh hole, we're even for the day so far, that could be a bit of a risk, you know, hitting it there, because it is right next to the bunker, but luckily the wind going forward will carry us through. Really nice looking fairway today, and that's on the right, that's quite nice, we should be able to j uh, skip and jump over the bunkers quite nicely there, and get on the green in two. Got to take into the account of the wind of course, and we'll hit it about 180 yards, about 5 yards short of what it recommended, just, just to take into account that wind. And that is a lovely shot, right next to the hole, and we should be able to get our first shot under for the day. That's a 7 foot putt, but it's going to turn into a 9 foot putt, really. And that, oh, that's unbelievable. Oh, that is so close, right next to the hole. And that's going to be a very painful tapping. And uh, it's alright, we're still even for the round, nothing lost. Bolly's now on 4 under, I don't quite know what's happened. Um, to, who was the guy on 5 under last time? I can't quite remember his name. I think it might have been Spears, um, but he's completely bottled it, it seems. Nice par 3 here. Bring it back a few foot. What's the best approach? That could be too much, actually. That could be way too much. Don't know, though. Yeah, that is way too much. It's in the bunker. It, oh, that's actually a nice place in the bunker for it to be, though, because it can 
get over that, I think. Yeah, that's nice. That is very nice. Right, let's hit that one. Go on, in the hole, in the hole. Oh, come on. Too much. Just too much there. It's going to be a risk here for par, you know. This could be a risk. Let's go for it, though. Can we do it? We certainly can. That's another par, another par put. And as long as our opponents don't catch up to us, I feel like that these last two rounds are all about consolidating our lead um, and that no one has a complete last-minute push. But I think I have to say, turning spin control has probably um, lessened our advance, if you like. This is quite a nasty hole, actually. 585 yards. There's no way you're making the green into there, purely because of that nasty little water that spreads, uh, that splits even, um, the one part of the fairway from the other. Um, but let's try and get close to the green. This could be one where we get a birdie, but then again, it is going to be quite close. Nice shot there. That should be just in the middle of the fairway. Edging to the right a little bit just to make sure we avoid anything off the trees. That's a nice one. 241 yards in the end. That is quite nice. Here we go. And can we make the green? That should be quite nice. Let's try and get it on that sort of fairway bit, just so it can knock onto the green and lose a little bit of, a little bit of pace. And I, I don't mind it even tapping the rough, just so it makes sure it loses a bit of pace. That's not quite what we were looking for, but okay. Right, this could be a tapping for a birdie here. Let's have a look. Can we prove our wedge skills? That was awful. <laughs> that was absolutely awful. We're going to have to settle for a par again here. Getting set now over the putt. And it's in. That's a par for us there in the ninth. It's not been the best of rounds, admittedly. Um, but it doesn't seem like anybody else had the most brilliant round ever. So we're all right as well. So here comes the last hole. Hole 10 then is a four, uh, four, uh, par 4, 429 yard hole. Let's get on this portion of the fairway. It is going forward though here. So let's just have a look what we can do. Ooh, make sure we don't hit that rough in any way. That's good. Bring it back a few feet again. Give it a good hit. Here we go. Can we get it close to the hole? That looks like a good one. Go on, son. In the hole. In the hole. Oh, yes. What a shot. What a beautiful shot. And that is an eagle from a par four there, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely beautiful. Can we get a replay on that? I don't think we will. But that is absolutely beautiful. And that makes up for the, the less than satisfactory pars at the start of this round. What a shot that was. That was absolutely stupendous. And now... Let's have a look if anyone's caught up, because I feel like this one could be all but over. So what we'll do, I'll play the last few holes, and then we'll skip to the final hole. Here we are then, the final hole of the tournament. We haven't bottled it, luckily. We are one under for this round. Very much consolidating on those last six holes. We, we did get uh, two birdies, and we got a bogey at the 16th pass. We did actually get it in the water, but I won't show that, because uh, that was very painful for me. Can we get a birdie out of this one, though? It's a brilliant tournament from us. Um, but I wouldn't be too worried. Obviously, this is only the first tournament. So what I'm saying is that we wouldn't, won't batter everyone by this much. Hopefully, in all of the tournaments. Oh, this is going to be quite close. Oh, it's in the water. Ooh. Ah, okay. Deary me. Could end, this hot, could end this round even or even above. Over par. Let's try and get this one correct, shall we? I feel like the wing gusts don't help us with this uh, lack of spin control. Good shot, though. Should be a bogey there. As I say, consolidating. It's quite a nasty one, though. It's uphill. Let's see what we can do with this one. There we go. It's in the hole. And we have ended that round even just to make sure that nobody else came back with an absolute storm to beat. Let's just check what happened. And we did end with 10 under. It was an even round in the end. Lovely uh, scenery here. Everyone else actually ended with under. But as you can see, we're the only Englishman in the top eight. And we are right at the top, exactly where I belong. <laughs> Simulated on attributes then. Let's just make sure that we do win this. And we have won by an acceptable and exceptional as well. Seven shots. So next episode, we will move on to the uh, PGA Tour. It should be a lot of fun. I very much doubt we'll be winning all tournaments, but it'll be a... Real blast. As you can see then, we're above, we're among the tour graduates. And uh, as it says there, it's like a dream come true. And we've joined EA Sports for our apparel. And we're going to play with EA Sports. So, the next one will be the Career Builder Challenge. It's all very exciting. Um, and as I say, the um, format will be 
four quick, uh, three quick rounds, and then the last round will be full 18 holes. If you like the format of today's video, a few cuts um, between holes just to make things a little bit shorter, let me know what you think in the comments. And also, with um, in terms of the video length and etc, etc, any feedback is appreciated in the comments. But if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like, comment in the video if you enjoyed as well, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already for more of this kind of content. As maybe um, there might be some more golf content in the future on new games like the Golf Club, if you guys seem to enjoy this. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on Thursday for the next episode. Goodbye.